Hello friends, welcome back to a new video. Today I'll be reading to you Birds to Aircraft. Uh, in Birds to Aircraft, readers will discover how the invention of aircraft was inspired by the flight of birds. So let's get into this bu book. Birds to Aircraft. Leonardo da Vinci designed flying machines well before airplanes were invented. Up in the air. Have you ever seen a bird soaring through the air? Do you wonder what it would be like to have wings? For hundreds of years, people, people searched for ways to fly. Da Vinci sketched for, for, many different, for many different flying machines. Early flying inventions. Leonardo da Vinci studied flight in the late 1400s and the late 1500s. The Italian inventor watched the birds closely as they flew. He built and tested many of his flying machines, but none were able to fly. The, Mon the, the Motto Glofrier brothers amazed crowds with their first balloon flights. Joseph Michel Mon Mont Glofler Glof Glof and Jacques Enet Et Eni Montgolfier were brothers. They discovered that a that a bag with heat source below it will rise. Using this discovery, they built an aircraft. They called it a hot air balloon. This was in the 1700s in France. Look, what were other early flying inventions? Use the internet and your local, li and your local library to research this question. Blimps were inspired by hot air balloon. And this is a picture of a blimp. On November 21, 1783, a human flew one of the brothers' creations. This was the first time a device that was not attached to the ground was flown. Their invention led to the creation of the blimp and the zeppelin. Soon, more modern aircrafts were being invented. Orville and Wilbur v Wright built an Orville and Wilbur Wright bu built an airplane with an engine. Their first their first successful flight was on December 17, 1903, and this is saying airplanes can take us anywhere. And as this may look like snow on the ground. Like, and this is the sky, and there's like snow. This is actually the cloud. The airplane is flying through the clouds, and that's pretty cool, though it actually looks like snow. Their plane flew for 12 seconds. Today, thousands of airplanes fly every day. Airplanes carry people and goods to places all around, around the world. People learn how to build these incredible flying machines by studying birds. It's, it is impossible for people to fly by simply flapping a pair of wings like birds. Early inventors did not realize this. Their designs failed. They did not realize how powerful birds are. Humans' muscles aren't just strong enough. F birds flap their wings with strong chest muscles. And they're showing a picture of a bird flapping, though it looks really simple. It is pretty hard. All objects in flight must deal with four different forces. There are thrust, thrust lift, drag, and gravity. A force is a, national, a natural power. That can change the speed or direction of something. Birds create thrust and lift at the same time. They do this by flapping their wings at an angle. This pushes the air below and behind them. But how does this work? Make a guess. 
Have you ever seen a bird glide without flapping its wings? Once it has built up speed by flapping, it is able to glide. What force allows a bird to do this? What keeps the bird in the air? Investigating nature. Birds, bird wings are curved on, on the top but flat on the bottom. Air moves more quickly, o- quickly over the curved tops of the wings than it does underneath. The pressure of the air on the wings from below is greater than the pressure pushing from the from above. The force of lift keeps a bird in the air. If aircraft technology has gone through many changes, airplanes work a similar in a similar way. The airplane is pushed forward by propellers or jet engines. The plane gains uh, speed until it's moving fast enough to change the pressure above and and below the wings. This change in the in pressure lifts the plane into the air. This is how airplanes take off take off from long runways. Think. Early airplanes were made of cloth or wood. They had to be light enough to fly with a propeller engine. Today's airplanes weigh thousands of pounds. What type of engine flies something that heavy? Jet engines allow heavy airplanes to fly greater distances at higher speeds. Airplanes can now fly faster and farther than any bird can. This is thanks to a few brilliant minds who looked to the skies for inspiration. Ask questions. Why do you think some birds can, can fly and others can? Visit the zoo. Observe the different types of birds. Take notes of their similarities and differences. Then ask a veterinarian or a zookeeper why only some birds can fly. Uh, I'm not going to read the glossary, but I will read uh, Find Out More books. Fertiland Van Wurst, Jenny Airplane, Jenny Dot Airplanes, uh, Many Polis Jump, uh, Rishman Rebecca, The Invention of Airplane, North M- Manco, Ma- Mancato, uh, Capstone Press, 2018, that doesn't matter, Websites, National Geographic Kits, Taking Flight with the Wright Brothers, um, so, uh, th- these are the links, um, uh, https uh, column uh, two slashes kids dot national geograph geographic dot com slash explore slash history slash right brothers find out how these inspiring evaders took to the skies and simpson national air and space museum how things fly so HTTP column uh, two slashes how things fly dot s i dot edu uh, edu uh, dot I mean uh, slash activities learn more about the basic principles that allow aircraft and spacecraft to fly and do some fun activities so um these are the two books that you guys can find out more and these are two websites um and that's mostly it for today um yeah and there's uh, many more and let's see there's uh birds to velcro cat claws to thumbtacks kingfishers to bullet trains uh, lampreys to robots, so many more. Um, then there are lots of other books we can read. I just can't wait for 
uh, reading more books with you guys. If you enjoyed, then please lecture and subscribe. We earned 377 points, and it took us, let's, let me see, 10 minutes to read. Uh, you could say 9, mostly. And um, so, yeah, this is it for today, and I'll see you next time.